in a very strange ending, Amir Khan is facing a huge backlash after quitting in the sixth round against Terrence Crawford. It's E. King Fight News. And we got more on this. Man, this guy Amir Khan, man. He couldn't even explain why the fight was stopped. He was like, oh, he fouled me. And you know what? I just couldn't continue. You know what, man? Bob Arum said it best. He said Amir Khan was looking for a place to fall. And there was no place to fall. So, <laughs> oh, man. You can tell when a guy doesn't want to doesn't want to fight. And you know what's funny? I'll tell you I'll tell you what's funny. The exact same thing happened in one of Amir Khan's fights. If you look at what happened when Zab Judah fought Khan, Zab Judah was complaining he got low blowed and the referee said no, it's a knockdown and he waved off the fight. So very similar situation here. Um, oddly enough, in this case, it was something of a foul where this shot hit him in the upper thigh, yet that's the shot that debilitated Amir Khan. It didn't hit him in the nuts, and he had more than enough time to recover. But no, Virgil Hunter wants to come up and say, oh, you know what, Khan, can't continue. So the doctor comes in and stops the fight, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know. And not that I had a whole lot of respect for Amir Khan, but as a warrior, he's always been known for taking on some of the toughest fights out there. He took on Canelo Alvarez, boxed well. But this right here was a very bad look. I mean, if I'm Kell Brook, do I even want to fight this guy? If I'm Kell Brook, do I even want to even give Khan the gratification of, of allowing this fight to... Uh, no, fuck that. He's a quitter. The dude's a quitter. Right? He quit against Terrence Crawford. Just like Nicholas Walters quit against Vasily Lomachenko. When's the last time you see Nicholas Walters, by the way? And he was he was considered a world-class fighter as well. I haven't seen him since. I have a feeling Amir Khan's gonna have he's gonna find himself in a similar position unless he wants to go back to British world level. You know, and, and that kinda is what Kelbrook is, but if I'm Kelbrook, I stay far away from Amir Khan, man. I would be, I would just be like, fuck this dude, man. Point blank and period, man. And I don't think Eddie Hearn's gonna be shelling out uh, the money that he was willing to shell out the first time around. Right? I think Amir Khan's stock has dropped drastically after last night. And that's just what it is, man. Shout out the boxing scene for the images. Khan definitely took more damage in the fight, man. He lost pretty much every round. And the way he got stopped was very shameful, man. Shame on Khan. <laughs> Shame on Khan, man. I'm sorry. Sorry, man. Can't have these dudes quitting like that. Can't have it, man. Bud Crawford show once again why he's pound for pound. The best in the game. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. Uh, but let's get let's get into what Bob Arum had to say about Amir Khan. But apparently, this is Amir Khan's take on the fight. The fight was just getting interesting. Nah, man, you were on your way to getting, you were on your way to getting stopped or knocked out. Terrence was great. I'm not taking anything away from him. I've realized why he's one of the best pound for pound. I can feel that punch in my stomach and legs. I have never been hit below the belt and was in pain. 
I can feel it in my stomach and legs. I said I can't move. I said I can't move. There was no point in taking five minutes. I could not continue. Aram said he had, this is this is uh, top rank CEO Bob Aram. He had five minutes to recover. It was an accidental low blow. He could have recovered from it, right? They have a cup, right? But he was looking for a place to fall. So Bob Aram had to say, what do y'all think, man? What do y'all think about it? E-King Fight News, man. Smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. For more boxing content, y'all know where to go, man. For now, it is what it is, guys. Peace out.